Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now the formula that we're going to use is at the top of the screen. We're going to take the degrees Fahrenheit that we're given and subtract 32. Then we're going to divide by 1 and 8 tenths, or 1.8. I also added an estimation formula at the top of the screen. Now this estimation formula can be used to find an approximate or close conversion using mental math. So I'll go through the exact conversions and then how to estimate. So let's jump into number one where we have 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And the first thing we wanna do is rewrite the formula that we're going to use to convert this. So degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by one and eight tenths. Then we plug in the degrees Fahrenheit that we wanna convert, the number that we're given, so 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's plug that into our formula. So 95 minus 32 divided by one and eight tenths. And now we're ready to solve. So we'll start with 95 minus 32, and that gives us 63 bring down our division sign and the one and eight tenths, and we wrap up our conversion by dividing 63 by one and eight tenths. And that's going to give us an answer of 35, and that's degrees Celsius. So 95 degrees Fahrenheit equals 35 degrees Celsius. Now, as far as the estimation, we can use this formula right here. Now, I'll write everything out, but this formula is meant to uh, make the conversion a little quicker in order to give us an approximate or close to value to that exact conversion. So we rounded the 32 to the nearest 10, 30, and then rounded one and eight tenths to the nearest whole number two. So let's write that estimation formula out. So degrees Fahrenheit minus 30, divided by two. So we'll plug in our 95 here and solve. So 95 minus 30 is 65. And then 65 divided by two gives us 32 and a half or 32 and five tenths. And that's degrees Celsius. So that is our estimate there. So you can see how it compares to the exact conversion. It did give us a pretty close um, approximate conversion there. So let's move on to number two, where we have 17 degrees Fahrenheit. So we will start by rewriting our formula. So degrees Fahrenheit minus 32, and then divide by one and eight tenths. So we'll plug in 17 minus 32 divided by one and eight tenths. So we'll start by 17 minus 32, which gives us a negative 15. And we will wrap this conversion up by dividing by one and eight tenths. Now 15, or I'm sorry, negative 15 divided by one and eight tenths gives us a negative eight and three repeating. So it gives us a repeating decimal there. So that would be the official way to write it there with the bar above the three means that decimal is repeating and that is degrees Celsius. So there is our exact conversion. Now we can round that to the nearest whole degree, which would be negative eight degrees Celsius. So it depends if you want the exact negative 8.3 repeating or rounded to the nearest whole degree, which would be negative eight degrees Celsius. Now, as far as the estimate, well, let's rewrite our formula here. Degrees Fahrenheit minus 30 divided by two. So we have 17 minus 30 divided by two. 17 minus 30 gives us a negative 13 and negative 13 divided by two gives us a 
negative six and a half, or six and five tenths degrees Celsius. So it gives us an approximate or close value to that exact conversion. So there you have it. There's how you convert degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.